Microsoft Excel 2013, Navigating a Worksheet. You may navigate in an open Excel spreadsheet using various keyboard commands or by using the mouse as a navigation tool. Using the mouse is simple, but not always the most efficient way to navigate a larger worksheet. Let's start by using the mouse. We can click in a cell. We can use the scroll wheel on a mouse. Scroll down, scroll up. We can also use the scroll bars that are found on the right side by dragging them down or using the arrows up or down. And the same is true with the left to right by using the scroll bar down here. But if this is a fairly large spreadsheet, it's going to be very time consuming to use the mouse to navigate where you would like to go. So I'm going to share with you a few keyboard shortcuts that will help speed up that process. The control key that's found in the lower left of your keyboard and the END or END key will always navigate you to the very end of your spreadsheet. So row 53 is the last row of data in this particular spreadsheet. Now to move back up to the very beginning of the spreadsheet, control key again in the lower left of my keyboard and the home key will navigate me to cell A1. We can also use the keyboard for other options such as the tab key which will move me one cell to the right. The shift tab key will move me one cell to the left. In any of my arrow keys that are found on my keyboard, I can move down or to the right and up or to the left. So as you can see, for navigating, especially to the beginning or to the end of the worksheet, using a keyboard shortcut, Control Home and Control N, will certainly save you some time. And that is navigating a worksheet in Microsoft Excel 2013.